Warning, there is no direct confirmation from Timmy that using an Android emulator is 100% safe, so use BlueStacks or any other Android emulator at your own risk. So I will be explaining how Pokemon Unite works with this Android emulator called BlueStacks. I'll leave a link down in the description if you have problems how to install it. But after you've got into the screen and actually installed the game via the Play Store and you synced your account to this app, from there on out I will be showing how you can get this game to work with BlueStacks. So, so first we go to this right side and we hit this gear at the bottom. It's settings. This is what I've been using. So performance, CPU, you put this high. Memory allocation, high. Performance mode, high performance. The frame rate thing, I tried the 240. I have a 240 hertz monitor, but I couldn't really get many frames above 60. So might as well just put it back to 60. It doesn't really matter. And enable high frame rate checked. And I don't have these two checked. So there's that for the display. I'm just putting the landscape and I have this resolution in my computer. You might want to change this depending on what resolution your monitor is. For me, it's full HD. Pixel density, you can try between 240 and 320. The mouse cursor style, this is up to you which one you prefer. Let's try the cool yellow one. The audio, I just have everything on default. I am not using gamepad with this software and I'll explain later why. These others, I didn't touch any of it, so there's that. Then you launch the game after you downloaded it from the App Store, Pokemon Unite. So once you're in the game, you can see these weird buttons across the screen. But you can disable these buttons if you go right side on the game controls and just tick this on-screen controls off so they will disappear. But for the sake of this video and trying to explain myself better, I'll just keep them on. I will be also having uh, these settings in the video description if you want to copy my settings to play without. And if you want to copy these settings, you just go open advanced editor at the right. Then it will open this editor. And then there is this import button and it will have this Hepodix Unite thing. That way you can have the settings. And from the top right, you can exit this menu. Okay, so the actual main menu, I'm using mouse, click on these different icons. Like here, if I go top left, I click this avatar and just go to practice. For the sake of this video, I will be showing how the controls actually work. So practice area. Note also that I'm using a Smurf account for the sake of this video, because Timmy has not confirmed that this is 100% safe. I've heard a lot of comments that they haven't got banned or there is no suspicion going around, but I still wanted to make that disclaimer because there hasn't been a proper statement from Timmy that, hey, you can use whatever Android emulator you want and it's completely safe. Okay, so let's start with the WASD on the bottom left corner. This is movement, essentially, for this character. And to get these abilities, I'm actually using mouse to click. Like, let's go with acrobatics. I click that, boom, there you go. So the WASD implies the movement. I can move freely like this. For B, it's hit the base. It recalls like normally. For the shift, it's on the dunking. You can put those points in. For control, it's the battle item. And for the different abilities, it's Q, E and R. For caps lock, it's the attacking for the wild Pokemon and space is for the normal basic attack. And this F button in between is for the jump pad. And then there's one, two, three, and C, which you can do those commands like gather here or retreat. For tab at the top right, you can open this menu easily. And the M button on the top left, you can open up this map. Just click like, let's say for the center and check it out. It'll do the marking thing. And if you want to change these key bindings, if you're not satisfied, let's say that fly uses the E button, you go to the top right on the game controls, you open up the advanced editor, and then you can see these different buttons here. I click on the E, and you can assign a new key. Let's say I press O, and now it does the fly with the O button. So anything is changeable here. Here are my in-game settings for Pokemon Unite. These are very important too. I'm just gonna quickly scroll them down so you can copy paste them. The controls menu is the most important. Lowest remaining HP value, Advanced controls, no automatic basic attacks, lock on icon, augment, melee, off, press button, 
So light to icon. Sensitivity high. Camera follows moves, yes. Off, on. And the sliding thing is very important. Camera sensitivity high. So, and these you want to put on. Audio is your personal recommendation. I'm not a huge fan of the announcer, nor the music, because I use my own music in the videos. So there's that. Exit. The slide thing is very important because now if I drag the mouse, I can scroll the map like this. I can look elsewhere. So this way you can look at the map easily while you're moving. It's very important. You can also look at the map if you click on the top left of the map. You can scroll and look the objectives like this. So for the abilities, let's say I try the acrobatics. I hold the E button like normally and with the mouse I can freely control where I want to put this ability. And it'll does the movement. But you have to be precise with the mouse. If you do this sup stupid thing, like it can go really wacky in places. Like, don't aim at this uh, joystick thing on the bottom left. Try to keep the mouse inside this uh, ranged area. So it works properly, okay? And just for the basic attacks, I'm, I'm tapping the space button. It does them just fine. And when I look at down the performance aspect of it, this is obviously not like super optimized for the computer hardware versus the emulator so there can be hiccups here and there but as for my experience i really haven't exchanged any hiccups so this is the reason i think trying to get a controller working is kind of tough because these icons start to overlap each other and it starts to look really really confusing so that's why i'm just clicking with the mouse the flame charge for example Hey, I got the flame charge now, cool. But since they're overlapping with these other icons, that's why I haven't do separate key bindings for the level up abilities. And that's why it's also confusing to try get this working with controller. You can get this working with controller, but my recommendation will be using mouse and keyboard if you want to play this game on a computer. Like let's say I get a couple more levels here. I get to choose fly and brave bird. And again, there is this little overlapping here, which makes it really confusing. So, according to my experience, it's just better to click the new abilities like that, so it'll work. The thing I like about this really is that you can do... Skill shot aiming is really solid. When you get the control of the mouse, as you can see here, I can just aim wherever I want. It doesn't snap back, like sometimes with the switch at least. So that's really smooth. I, I really do enjoy it. But the overlapping thing is definitely an issue. So this is not a perfect Pokemon or any kind of ultimate Pokemon Unite experience. So there is a little disclaimer for that. So all in all, I think this works very nicely. If you want to try it out, let me know in the comments what do you think. Because I'm very curious to know, are there players who wants to play this game on an emulator? So now I will be showing some actual gameplay, how I was able to perform using these controls on a match. So now we're in a real match, and I'm just playing some jungle Talonflame. I took this as a starter Pokemon, and I'm using the emulated controls here, as seen, from the interface and the Bluestacks emulator. And after some testing, you can get really used to this, however you also want to keep in mind that I have over 1200 games using the Switch Pro Controller. So this gameplay not might be the super hyper most optimized MLG 2000 Masters stuff. So please keep that in mind. But from the performance standpoint, I think it's um, it actually runs pretty solid on this computer I'm using. And while I'm showing you this gameplay, I just want to talk about a couple of things before I conclude this video. So why do I think emulating Android games is a good thing. Well, first of all, there are people in the world who doesn't have Nintendo Switch or a, a phone that is a powerful enough to run Pokemon Unite. But they might have a computer that's a decent enough to run this game. So that's just potentially opens up doors for some people to actually play the game if they don't have those two aforementioned devices, but they do have PC. So I don't think this is like a super bad or super shady thing, now we're in the black market, whoa, 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 whoa. no, no, I think this is a, just a nice alternative option to play this game, although it has its own sort of restrictions, so to speak, like the fact that controller is a bit difficult to bind, and you just have to get used to the mouse and keyboard controls, which could be more intuitive, 
For some people, especially the ones who have played MOBA games on the PC like League of Legends or Dota 2, this could actually be the better option for those people, and myself included, I played a lot of League, so I was able to get hang of these controls relatively quickly. So, TLDR is that I don't think it's a bad thing to have more options. And when you think about this from the business standpoint, if Timmy wants to allow emulator use in their game, it just brings them more players to the game, more customers, and you know what that means? It means more money to these people. So, I just don't see any point why they would not want to have people play this game using an emulator. Because I have not modified the game anyhow, I just downloaded the game from the App Store, and I'm running legitimate version of this game, so there's no issues, really. I just don't see any negatives why they would not want to have this game, or why they would not have people running this game using an emulator. But still, I felt like I had to make that disclaimer, because it's not 100% confirmed by the devs. Maybe this will change in the future and they will give us a statement, but as for the time of making this video, there hasn't been any statement regarding this. So if you have any questions down below, please do not hesitate to comment, because I'm curious to know what do you think about this emulator, were you able to set this thing up, and do you think this is malicious in any way or form? But yeah, that's it going to be for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.